Mixed word problems. Math word problems made easy with Lucas. Hi friends, I'm Lucas. Welcome back to Math Word Problems Made Easy. Today, we're doing something super helpful. Mixed word problems. That means sometimes we'll add, sometimes we'll subtract, sometimes multiply, and sometimes divide. I'll help you figure out which one to use. Ready? Let's go! Quick review. The three steps. Remember our three secret steps for any word problem. Read the story carefully. Find the important numbers and clue words. Then choose the right operation. Add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Then solve and check. Keep those steps in your head and we'll practice together. Example 1. Addition problem. Problem 1. Mia had six stickers. She got four more at school. How many stickers does Mia have now? Clue words got more, that's addition. So six plus four equals ten. Mia has ten stickers. Example two, subtraction problem. Problem two. Ethan had 11 marbles. He gave three to his friend. How many marbles does Ethan have left? Clue word, gave and left. That's subtraction. 11 minus three equals eight. Ethan has eight marbles. Nice work! Example 3. Multiplication problem. Problem 3. There are four boxes of crayons, and each box has six crayons. How many crayons are there? Clue words each and boxes. Equal groups, that's multiplication. Four times six equals 24. There are 24 crayons. Awesome! Example four, division problem. Problem four, 18 cookies are shared equally amongst six friends. How many cookies does each friend get? Clue words shared equally. That's division. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Each friend gets 3 cookies. Yum! Quick clue word drill. Let's practice spotting clue words fast. I'll say a short sentence. You shout or whisper the operation. Ready? There are 7 apples. And five more come. Add. She has ten pencils and loses two. Subtract. Three rows with five chairs in each row. Multiply. Twenty candies split into four bags. Divide. Great listening! You're getting faster! Two-step example. A. Now some problems need two steps. Here's one. Noah had 12 toy cars. He gave four to his cousin, then he found three more under the couch. How many toy cars does Noah have now? Step one. He gave four away, so subtract 12 minus four equals eight. Step two, he found three more. So add eight plus three equals 11. Noah now has 11 toy cars. Two steps, subtract, then add. 
two-step example. B. Try this one with me. A bakery packs five boxes of cookies with eight cookies in each. They sell seven cookies from one box. How many cookies are left total? Step one, multiply to find total, five times eight equals 40 cookies at the start. Step two, they sold seven, so subtract 40 minus seven equals 33. There are 33 cookies left. Great thinking. Your turn. Practice problems. Now it's your turn to try three quick ones. Pause the video if you want more time. Lily has nine balloons. She buys six more. How many now? Add. 9 plus 6 is 15. There are 16 students. They are split into four equal teams. How many in each team? Divide 16 by 4 equals 4. Sam has three bags with seven apples each. He gives away five apples. How many apples are left? Step 1, multiply 3 times 7 equals 21. Step 2, subtract 21 minus 5 equals 16. Nicely done! Check your answers. Tips Quick tips to check your work. If the number should get bigger, you probably add or multiply. If it should get smaller, you probably subtract or divide. For two-step problems, Write each step down so you don't lose track. Challenge round. Mixed quiz. Final challenge. I'll give a problem and you try without peeking. Ready? A class has 24 markers. They share them equally into six pencil cases. Later, they add two more markers to each case. How many markers are in each case now? Step 1, divide. 24 divided by 6 is 4 markers in each case. Step 2, add. 4 plus 2 equals 6 markers in each case. So each case now has 6 markers. Wow, you nailed it! Wrap up and review. Fantastic work today. Let's review. Read carefully, find clue words, pick the operation, add, subtract, multiply, or divide. Some problems need two steps. Do one step at a time and check your work. You were awesome with mixed problems today. Next episode, we'll learn fractions in word problems, which is super fun. And it uses the same careful reading and clue words. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and practice your mixed problems. See you soon. Bye.